Hello everybody, my name is Yelena Pahomova and I am a founder of Reclaiming Data Recovery Company. In this video I will discuss how to work with our new data recovery software Reclaiming Pro. First a few words about our company. Reclaiming Data Recovery was founded in 2009 in Russia, Volgograd. The first product was Reclaiming File Recovery, which we tried to make as simple as possible. Then we created Reclaiming Free Rate Recovery, which has become pretty popular among data recovery technicians. Then we were the first vendor who developed data recovery algorithm for storage spaces released by Microsoft. In this video I discuss our new software Reclaiming Pro, specially designed for data recovery experts. I talk about how to run the software, work with disk image files and about initial settings. Then I discuss disk image files formats and how you can create them. Next I move on to the recovery procedure from simple to complex data recovery cases. First I show how to do file system recovery in Reclaiming Pro. Then I talk about partition recovery. And in the end I discuss recovering data from a RAID. So you can download the software at www.reclaimy-pro.com from the download section. Type in your name, email and company name if you wish and click a request download link button. Within a few minutes you get the download link along with trial key in the email. Go to the link, run the software, Install the software. Type in the trial key. and click proceed. Then we see the disk and image scan options window, where you can specify which devices should be displayed and what partitioning schemes should be passed. Also at this step you should add disk image files if you are going to recover data from them using add image button. Now let's talk about disk image files in more detail. Reclaiming Pro can create disk image files for you. Keep in mind that when you recover data from a client device, it is recommended always to image their disks. It is particularly important to create disk images for mechanically damaged devices. In this video I will use a compact flash as an example. To launch disk image you need to click proceed. Wait till Reclaiming Pro scans all the desired partitioning schemes and then select the device in the disk and partition list window. Our flash is located under the USB devices section. Check it and click save image. Reclaiming Pro can image any storage it recognizes, including physical disks, partitions and software read arrays in one of the three formats. Sector by sector, which is the same as raw disk image file, VHD disk image file and VHDX disk image file. Raw disk image file is a sector by sector copy of the device, by far the most simple and common disk image format out there. The downside of the raw image is its size, exactly as large as the original device. 
VHD format is typically used to create a disk image file of the device up to 2 terabyte for further mounting it on a Windows PC. VHDX image files are created with the same purpose, the difference is that VHDX format supports the devices larger than 2 terabyte and is only available on a on at least Windows Server 2012 or Windows 8. Once you have decided what image file format you need, by selecting the appropriate item in the drop-down list I choose sector by sector, Reclaimy Pro asks you to specify the target location along with the name for the disk image file. In my case, it is Disk Image Files folder. The window with disk images setting appears where you can set the image up depending on your particular case. More information about disk images settings you can find in the manual. In my case, I leave the default settings and click Start. Now let's return to the Disk and Image Scan Options window and load the image file just created. Click Add Image and load it. Below the Disk Image Files section you can specify the desired partition schemes Reclaimy Pro should search the devices for during the initial scan. For example, if you know for sure that the device you are going to recover data from works under Windows, like in my case, you can uncheck Linux and Apple partitioning schemes Apple, LVM and MD, thereby reducing the recovery time. Then click Proceed. Reclaiming Pro starts to analyze the devices and partitions and shows them in the Disk and Partition List window. In this window, you need to select one or several devices for the recovery. Select our Disk Image file under the Disk Image Files sections, section. All buttons on the right except Start Rate and Save XML file become available. To recover data, you need to click Start Scan. The file system settings allow you to selectively enable or disable file system recognition. This provides faster speeds when exact file system type is known. Additionally, there are several presets for different recovery cases. Here you also find the deep scan settings. Deep scan is used for damaged file system, while file system scan is best for undamaged. Since we know for sure that our disk image file contains NTFS file system, we can safely uncheck all other file systems and leave only NTFS. This allows us to reduce the recovery time. Then click Start. Immediately the Files and Folders window appears where we see what Reclaimy Pro was able to find with Quick Scan. And after some time, in our case immediately, we see a message stating that the Quick Scan is finished. Click OK and estimate the quality of recovery. If you are satisfied with the recovery result, you can start to copy data. Note that there are special options for duplicate files and deleted files. Additionally, Reclaimy Pro can export file list and import file list. This is especially useful for data recovery specialists recovering data for a client who for some reason does not want to recover all the data but only part of it. In this case, it is convenient to provide a client access to the list of the recovered folders and files so that he or she can select all the needed data and then load the client's marks back to Reclaimy Pro for copying. 
Now let's consider a situation when you are not satisfied with the recovery result. In this case, you need to run deep scan by clicking Resume. Reclaimy Pro starts to analyze the device from the beginning to the end, rather than just in places where metadata is usually located, as the software did during the quick scan. At any moment, as soon as you find the files you were looking for, you can stop the analysis and start copying data. Now let's discuss partition recovery in Reclaimy Pro. First, let's return to the Disk and Image Scan Options window. Reclaimy Pro analyzes all these partitioning schemes during the initial scan. Click Proceed to launch the partition analysis. However, during the scan, the software can detect only healthy or slightly damaged partitions. If there is more server damage, you need to use a special feature of Reclaimy Pro – Find Partitions. Select the device on which you need to do partition recovery and click Find Partitions. Reclaimy Pro switches to the partition scan mode, where you see a list of found partitions and the progress bar. For each partition found, its startup set, size, file system and score are provided. The score indicates how confident Reclaimy Pro is about a particular found partition. Once you are satisfied with the partition recovery result, click Stop. Select all the recovered partitions you need and click Add selected partitions. This brings you back to the list of devices where you need to select Found Partition and click Start Scan on the right to proceed with file system recovery, which we have already discussed. Now I want to talk about complex case – data recovery from RAID. For this, let's load disk image files from array member disks into Reclaimy Pro. Back to the Disk and Image Scan Options window, click Add Image and load the files. Note that you should check Linux partitioning schemes, that is LVM and MD RAID. Click Proceed. There are two possible cases. The first case is when fully automatic recovery is possible because RAID metadata is good or slightly damaged, as often happens with NAS recoveries. The second case is when RAID metadata is severely damaged. In this case, first you need to recover RAID configuration and only then to recover data. First, let's consider in more details the case when RAID metadata is not damaged. In this case, you connect array member disks to a PC and launch Reclaimy Pro, which is able to reconstruct a RAID based on metadata. In such a case, you see a RAID under the Linux, LVM or MD RAID sections. This just occurred in my case. I see a RAID 0 under the Linux, LVM section. To recover data from the, from the RAID, select the top-level device and click Start Scan. If you do not see your RAID under LVM or MD RAID sections, most likely RAID metadata is damaged beyond recognition, and first you need to detect RAID parameters. Let's assume that there is no reconstructed RAID and uh, there are only array member disks. To do RAID recovery, select all the disks, which are array member disks, and click Start RAID. In the RAID recovery parameters window that appears, you need to specify the RAID type RAID 0, RAID 5, or RAID 6, RAID 0 in my case. 
Note that reclaiming pro requires that you specify the rate level correctly. Even if a client uh, is absolutely certain that they know the rate level, good practice is to do a quick check using built-in content and entropy analysis tools. However, the details here are too complex for this introductory video. If you want to learn more about this, visit our training website at www.data.recovery.training. So, in rate recovery parameters window, to reduce the recovery time, you can specify the values for min and max block size. Additionally, you can specify scan direction. However, you need to leave the scan direction selector in automatic mode if you have one array on the disk set, which is the common configuration. Then you can make other settings and click Start. Some uh, preliminary checkings go. You will see a window where rate recovery progress information along with detected rate parameters will be shown. Once rate parameters are detected, you can use stop accept option. However, you should allow the parameter set to stabilize for maybe 10 or so samples. Once the rate is reconstructed successfully, you can proceed with file system recovery by clicking Start Scan. Also, Reclaimy Pro allows you to set a rate configuration parameters manually and then add the assembled rate to the list of devices available for data recovery. For reconfigured rate, Reclaimy Pro uh, graphically depicts the configuration you set up. For now, that's all about Reclaimy Pro. In this video, I tried to tell you about basic features. However, Reclaimy Pro has much more built in tools that recovery technicians would find useful. For more information, please visit www.reclaimy-pro.com.